So much to talk about. We thought, let's get somebody who's been in on the tax reform meetings right now. Representative Mike Kelly of Pennsylvania is that guy. He serves on House Ways and Means Committee. You just left the markup uh, to join us in front of our cameras. Uh, can, you, can you give us any details of what you've just considered, what you're about to consider? Well, I think, Liz, this is the, the initial day to actually get involved in the conversation. And, and the, the back and forth between both sides, I think, is healthy. Uh, but I do think it, before it's all over and done with, what the American people want to see is something that works in their favor. They want something more fair, more fair. It puts more money in their pocket. They want, they want more take-home pay. And globally, we have to be able to compete. Our corporations have been left behind. We're the, we used to be the greatest place in the world to start a business. Now we're 23rd on the list. And the reason for that are high taxes and high regulations. President Trump took care of the regulations. Now it's up to us to take care of the right. tax problem. Let me use that F word, fair. A fair tax opportunity for everybody. I don't think a lot of people are angry that you would lower the corporate tax rate because we've been losing companies because we have such a high tax rate. Right. Okay, fine, but it's got to be balanced, doesn't it? With a fairer opportunity for the middle class. And in New York, somebody who makes up to $500,000 might very well after taxes be middle class. Their rate is 35%. This carried interest issue for billionaires is 20%. Uh, how is how is that fair, sir? I really need to know because right now we are hearing some breaking news that suddenly it's up for discussion when before carried interest was off the table like, okay, the richy rich get to keep their low rate. Well, you know, I, I, can't, I can't tell you exactly what we're going to address going forward, but I'm glad it's on the table. I'm glad we're talking about it. We've had discussions in the past. Uh, we're just getting now into that heavy talk about who is being treated fairly and who's not being treated fairly. I just think at the end of the day, we're going to have some people that are happy and we're going to have some people that are very happy. We'll take a look at that and we'll make sure that at the end of the day, it's fair. I understand that this Paradise Papers issue, the leakage of multiple, multiple pieces of information that show that the very wealthy, everybody from Madonna or the Queen of England have been able to, they're not breaking any rules, but they are able to avoid paying taxes because they have this ability to put it in offshore tax havens. That's going to get people very upset when they hear, okay, these guys are allowed to do that and get carried interest for the billionaire uh, people in high finance. At what point do you look at that and say, well, maybe we need to fix some of the deduction eliminations that we've considered? Because those well, help are, the middle class. Yeah, yeah. And I think we look at that right now. Listen, I don't know too much about the Paradise Papers. I do know about Pennsylvania payers, and I'm talking about taxpayers. Do you know what we're going to see in Pennsylvania for hardworking American taxpayers, middle income people? They're going to look at an increase of $2,680 some dollars a year. That's huge. You know, I'm in the automobile business. That's six car payments. That's a half a year. That's three, that's three mortgage payments. That's four rent payments on the average numbers. So if you look at that say, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Plus they get the $1,200 that goes on top of that. So when you look at that, who is it that's benefiting? Hard working American taxpayers, blue collar folks that have been looking to Washington mm -hmm. for so many years and saying, hey, how about me? Who's looking after me? The answer is we are right now, every day in every way. I hope so, Congressman. Uh, do we me a will. favor and this, this final question here. Yes. The bill plan that we saw put forward, the skeletal structure of it last week is what we eventually get going to really be different from what we saw last week. Do you know what, Liz, I would just say, you know, stay tuned because we're fine-tuning it right now, and I, I'm just telling you this. The Americans are going to be very happy. We're going to make America great again because we're going to be taxing Americans less again, and we're going to be increasing mm -hmm. their take-home pay, and we're going to be competitive throughout the whole world. That's what we need. We need to get back in that market, and we need to be the place where people want to start businesses and keep businesses going. There's so much good coming out of this okay. tax piece that we're going to get the normal pushback, but you know what? We're used to it. Let's just make sure that at the end of the day, we're working for America. Okay, uh, and work for those hardworking people in Pennsylvania Absolutely. who don't get to pay a 15% or 20% carried interest rate. Please, yeah, I think that's yeah. going to be an issue. Congressman, thank you so much. Thank Congressman you. Mike Kelly, he's in those meetings in House Ways and Means.